Hello everyone, in this video I am going to discuss the 5 questions from the ARD section and particularly I will be discussing about the soil conservation, the different methods of soil conservation. So before beginning with the video, I would like to tell you that this spotlight that is the monthly current affairs is available on the website www.anujjindal.in. Also you can find the link in the description as well. And if you want to download the PDF of these questions, you can just find it in the comment section. It would be pinned there. So let's begin with the first question. Plowing along the elevation boundary lines across a slope to avoid soil erosion is known as. So different methods of soil erosion are given over here and the question is asking about the method where the plowing is done, done along the elevation boundary line. Basically, this picture is representing that method of soil conservation. So what happens these counter lines, the counter lines which are there, they create a water break which actually reduces the formation of the rills or the gullies. We have already discussed about the rill erosion and the gully erosion in the previous video. You can just refer to the ARD question series video where you can find the explanation for both gully and rill erosion. So during the heavy water runoff which is a major cause of soil erosion, it is stopped by this counter plowing. So let's discuss the other method. So terrace farming. So this picture is representing terrace farming and basically the multiple flat leveled uh, carb have been carved on, the, on this hilly areas and usually it is done in the developing countries or less developed nation because we do not, these nations do not have mechanized machines or equipments to do the terrace or to do the farming on hilly areas. So as the name suggests terrace farming, this requires slope. So this is also known as hill farming. So what happens, it, it is done on the hilly areas to stop the water flow or to restrict the water flow. Also what happens when it is mixed with the counter plowing, so it is used for the rice cultivation as well. So what happens, the water get collected, collected in these flat leveled areas and it becomes easy for the rice cultivation. Another method, key line design, I will be discussing about in this uh, key line design in next question. Let's discuss about the perimeter runoff control. So this is how perimeter uh, runoff control is being done. So what happens around the perimeter of the farmland, the trees or shrubs, they are being used so that the uh, runoff of water or wind could be or the surface friction could be used to dispute the runoff or wind erosion. So this is known as perimeter runoff control. So these are the different methods. Let's move to the next question. So an advanced version of counter plowing where water runs off directly into an existing water channel. So what happens is there is a particular level which is being created and when the, the land is plowed in such a way that it creates a level or it creates a pit like structure where the water gets collected. So suppose when the water is flowing from this area or the water erosion is happening then this water flows and it gets collected in this area so the nutrient gets collected the soil gets collected and this water could be used for farming and it is the advanced version of counter plowing so what which method method are we talking about so it is known as key line design so it is used for the maximum water retention so this is the method for maximum water retention as you can see that the water get retained or get collected in this pit kind of structure. So the advanced version of counter plowing where the water runs up directly into an existing water channel that is known as key line design of soil or water con conservation. So moving on to the next question which of the following is the efficient method to reduce wind erosion. Now wind erosion is something when the wind is flowing and the soil gets eroded due to the wind that is known as the erosion caused due to wind. So let's read, read each one of these. Leveling and bundling of soil during the rain to make it moist. So this method could be named as moisture control method where the leveling or bundling of the soil is done during the rainy season so that the soil becomes moist and it as the soil is obviously when the soil is moist it is less prone to wind erosion so plowing in the land during the raining season or water harvesting helps the wind or avoids the wind erosion so this is correct statement next is using stubble mulching as soil cover now what is this stubble mulching so basically the crop residue so crop residue is being used so suppose the crop has been cultivated and it has been harvested from there so that residue is not removed or that residue is used as the soil cover 
so what happens when the wind flows or at the high rate the residue gets removed and not the soil so using the stubble mulching method is a as a soil cover helps in reducing the wind erosion this statement is also correct next is the surface should be left rough during the high winds now this is also correct because reason being that the smooth lands are more prone to wind erosion so if there is some disturbance on the land then it leads to friction and stops the or reduces the effect of wind erosion so it should be avoided or the land should be left rough during the high winds what could be the other methods now this is correct also so the answer is all of these now what could be the other method of regulating or uh, reducing the wind erosion so the other methods could be regulating grazing so to stop or we should not let the land get over grazed by the cattle why because they when when the land gets barren it's more prone to wind erosion another method is strip cropping now what is this strip cropping so strip cropping is basically when the normal crop row should be alternated with the tall crop or the plant so this is so if we are talking about these different rows of plant and the wind is flowing from this direction so if this is the main crop then the tall plants should be used or grown over here or the other plants could be used so that they restrict the erosion now these and another alternative line of the crop could be used over here so that this method is known as strip cropping and it is an efficient method to reduce wind erosion moving on to the next question so planting grass in heavily eroded areas is called so what happens as we discussed in the previous question about the strip cropping similarly when the grass is grown in the particular area then it prevents the erosion the soil erosion by both water and wind so the planting grass in heavily eroded areas is called agroecological measure so what happens you might be thinking that what happens to the grass or what will be the use of the grass when it is being harvested so what happens during the uh, time when the land is fallow or barren then we can grow grass at that uh, in that area so that the soil does not get eroded and later when the grass is harvested that could be used as the fodder for the cattle other method which are uh, which are mentioned over here so no till farming i'll be discussing about this no till farming in the next video of ard to so do watch that video for uh, the tillage coverage stubble mulching i have already discussed about that stubble mulching basically uh, keeping the crop residue of the previous crop so that the soil does not get eroded another method is green manures so what could be done that the green manures or the crops other than the food crops or food usage could be uh, grown on the soil so that the fertility of the farmland remains intact the next one is the crop rotation so what could be done that the crops could be used such as turnips or radishes could be used in order to blanket the soil all year moving on to the next question so which of the following cannot be used as a measure of soil conservation the first statement is using earthworms now you might be thinking that how earthworms help in measuring the soil or reducing the soil erosion so what happens they burrow the or they burrow under the ground and provide more of the water or it helps in aeration and pro better water infiltration the soil becomes moist and thus it is not prone to wind erosion next one is growing lemon grass as a vegetative barrier as i've already told you that grass could be used to uh, help the soil avoid the erosion thus growing the lemon grass or any kind of grass as the vegetative barrier helps in soil conservation next is increases the depth of the tillage now this is not the correct statement the depth of the tillage so tillage is basically physical manipulation of the soil so tools could be used for uh, the manipulation of the soil so that it becomes favorable for the next raising of the or production of the crop so due to the excessive or deep tillage what happens is the underneath the below soil or uh, the soil cover gets more prone to the erosion thus it is not the measure of soil conservation tillage should always be done keeping in mind the fertility and the requirement dry farming is basically farming in those areas or planting those crops which require very little water so it's done in the places where there is uh, very less amount of rainfall thus it helps in preserving the natural levels of the moisture and nutrients of the soil thus maintaining the soil conservation 
Now it's the time for you to answer which subsidiary of NABARD. So this is question related to the current scenario. So which subsidiary of NABARD has launched the 700 crore venture capital fund for investments in agriculture? Very important question and recently it's being done so it can be asked in the NABARD examination. Also, it's a first of its kind investment, thus it's be it becomes important to remember it. So do mention that in the comment section below. And if you wish to download these questions along with the answers, you can just find them in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel Anuk Jindal. Apart from this, you can press the bell icon so that you do not miss on any of the updates whenever the video is being posted. Do share this video with the people who are preparing so that they can also learn the concepts. Thank you so much for watching the video. We will be coming up with the new video soon.